Hi guys, I'm here from Senje. Senje, Senje the the Udakuwa Gulf. You know, Jita. A lot of people mu many tag sana kwa hiyo po, kwa hiyo kwa hiyo post yake. I'm being told that I'm fighting ni karma ina ni fight because oh I nilipiga dinda. Okay guys, I want to explain to you who dinda was to me and uh, I think you'll be the judge. Let me just explain this part because I'm having too much to handle right now. Na this is a message to Senjay. I'm not ready for dramas right now. I'm not ready for hizo fight za TikTok. No. So, okay. Dinda was my roommate. In short, Dinda was my responsibility. Even her mom trusted me around her. So, nilipatanga job during Ramadan month. Na pia yeye nikamtafutia. I remember very well nilikuwa nasumbuanga madalala sana. Kuna watu wenye wanaitangwa madalala. Wanipatie kazi. Just because nataka kupea, nataka kutafutia dinda kazi. Isi kwe mimi ndio niko kazi na ye hayuko kazi. Isi kwe mimi ndio napata pesa na ye apati. I minded her all the time. Atange kuwa mgonjo huu mtoto mimi ndio nikuwa na mpeleka hospitali with my ijama. Because ye hakuwa na ye. So mimi venye nilipatanga kazi ya kuendanga na kurudi kwa hoteli. Yeye nikamtafutia kazi ya nyumba ya kwenda kwa mwarabu. Akae the whole of Ramadan month alafu tukutane akimaliza mwezi. But Dinda after kumtafutia kazi na nikampati na nikampandisha taksi na akaenda kumbe alibadilishaga direction. Akaenda kwa nyumba za Umalaya. Ikakuwa during that month na shinda nikimkutakuta kwa nyumba na akabadilikanga sana na akakuwa na attitude. I could I could even say hi to her. Namwambia, "Hey, I used to call her mwetu wa Miriam because her mom's name is Miriam. I used to call her. Sasa mwetu wa Miriam ananislice. So niko mimi nimechoka hiyo kazi ilikuwa inatuchokesha sana." When I say hi to her, ana nijibu venye anataka ama sometimes haku ni hange nijibu. So niko na, "Ah, let me stop forcing issues." Nikamkuta kwa nyumba mara ya kwanza, nikamkuta kwa nyumba mara ya pili, ya tatu. I had to swallow my ego. Jilifika mali ya niongeleshi, ya tuongeleshani kwa nyumba. Akatoa kopi ya funguo, akakuwa nakuja kwa nyumba, akitaka na anatoka, akitaka, akakuwa na ghost. But it's okay, the room was ours. <sighs> wow. So one day, I swallowed my ego, nikamuuliza. This is Ramadan month. Kwa nini nashinda nikikukuta kwa nyumba? She told me mwarabu wake anampenda sana na so akimuomba break yeye anapewangwa ya kurudi kwa nyumba. Little I didn't know kumbe ni break ana taking kutoka kwa ile nyumba ya Umalaya. So during that Ramadan month ya kila mtu okay nikasema kama mwarabu wako anakupeanga break it's okay me nika mind my business. Ilipofika date 29 nikakuwa mgonjwa. Nili collapse by the way nikiwa kazini and nilikuwa na nilikuwa na cough damu. So after coughing blood nikashtuka I went to the hospital. The second day sikuendaga kazi. The second day sikuendanga job. Na the whole night sikulalaga because of pain. So hiyo siku yenye sikuendanga job nikaendanga hosi. Kwenda hosi Dinda was around but nikirudi kutoka hosi Yeah, she was around. Yeah, I remember she was around and I was so broken because nilienda nikaambiwa damu yangu imeonekana iko na shida. Oh, I have a serious problem. I'm supposed to be done kitu inaitwa biopsy. That was the first time mimi kujua biopsy ni nini. Njusi kuijua. So nikaenda home nikiwa na stress. Na Dinda ali notice niko na stress. She swallowed her ego akaniongelesha akaniuliza ni nini. Nikamwambia mimi niko na stress juu ya venye nimeambiwa niko na sign za kansa na nimeambiwa nitolewe nifanywe biopsy akaniambia pole usijali kila kitu itakuwa poa so i went for the biopsy na result zikatoka na dinda was still around so siku yenye result zilito sasa siku yenye nilifanywa ngo biopsy i was waiting for the result the whole night i didn't sleep asubuhi ndo nilipatanga uchunguzi 
I slept kwa kiti. Nakumbuka nilipatanga usingizi masaya saa moja. Kumbe ndinda left na mwenye alikuwa ametupeanga room. Wakaenda. So, ilipofika kitu kama saa tano hivyo, mwenye alikuwa amenipea room alikuwa na boyfriend alikuwa anaitangwa Iano. Iano akakuja na wakaniamsha. Wakaniambia kimeuma kimeumana. Nikauliza ni nini mbaya? Akaniambia msichana wako wako kwa shida. Nikauliza shida gani? Ndio sasa wakanielezea venye vyote msichana amefanya, wakaniambia kumbe msichana wako hakuendaga kazi kwa Mwarabu, aliendaga kwa nyumba ya kujiuza na as we talk ako kwa kesi na amepigwa sana, ameiba elfu nane ya wenyewe na baba yake na mama yake washapigiwa simu na wakasema wameshaenda kwa safari kom na zinarudishwa after 48 hours i felt like no i am dreaming because ndinda looked so innocent i called the mother because nilikuanga na namba nikamuliza mama ndinda i called her via email nikamuliza do you know what is happening to your daughter akaniambia anajua hata ashapigiwa simu na hata baba ya ndinda ashaenda kushughulikia hizo pesa zitarudishwa after 48 hours So mama ya Dinda akani request akaniambia I should rush to where Dinda is niambia au wasichana waache kumpiga juu wamempiga sana niwaambie wasimpige tena pesa inarudishwa nikaambia mama ya Dinda as we talk mimi i'm so sick i'm coughing blood i'm so weak na niko fucked up niko na stress mama ya Dinda insisted and because she's a mom na she respected me and trusted me around her daughter i had to take a cab nikaenda mpaka kwenye Dinda yuko i didn't mind ni nani nitakuta but i wanted to know whatever is being like said around kama ni ukweli nikafika nikakuta ndinda amechapwa ndinda ametandikwa mpaka masikio yake moja kuna sikio moja yenye nilikuwa nimempia ilikuwa imepasuka alikuwa ametandikwa sana i ask alikuwa mpaka amengolewa nyole hapa mbele nikamuuliza ndinda nasikia umeiba elfu nane and how you stole the money uliba idea wenyewe siju kaipiga picha Umekuja ume ume ume, ume swipe pesa za wenyewe umetumia baba yako siju umetumia sister yako anaitwa Katanu siju umetumia nani is this true nikamuuliza pia nasikia una sijui kuna pesa yenye ume inadaiwa ulipewa ulipewa dawa ya kutoa mimba is it true dinda kept quiet nikamuinua hivi shingo nikamuuliza dinda talk to me Tell me is it the truth? Akaniambia yeye hailewi that's what she said. Huyu mama mwenye alikuwa ameibiwa pesa juu alikuwa tu hapo na kenyewe juu alikuwa amesema huyu msichana hatoki hapo bila pesa za wenyewe bila pesa zake hazijarudi. Akaniambia as we talk Ndinda amekaa kwake wiki mbili akifanyanga kazi ya umalaya na hajalipa. Na kuna dawa yenye aliletewa na mgana ya kutoa mimba na hajailipia na ameiba elfu nane ametumia watu wao so hiyo ndio deni yote ya yenyako nayo before nifike mkumbuke niliwambia guys ndinda alimtext akaniambia anything that belongs to me in that house iuze ukuje na hiyo pesa juu kuna mali penye ninadaiwa akaniambia ko stranded as a good person nimesikia umsichana ameiba umsichana ametoa mimba umsichana alienda uma, kwa kazi ya umalaya na mimi nilimtafutia kazi ya mwarabu mpaka I had to look for 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 money nimpatie ndio nibaki na zile vitu nikaziuzange baadaye nikampelekeanga pesa I remember very well nilimpelekeanga cash Dinda nikamtumia cash ya vitu zenye tulikuwa tumenunuliana na yeye akasort sijui alisort pesa pesa gani mimi nilimpatianga tu sijui ni nini alisort Alafu nilipofika nikaambia wasichana wasimpige tena mama yake amesema pesa zinarudi I even called the mom na video call on imo nikamwambia ndio huyo msichana wako ako safe juu mama yake alikuwa ameshtuka alikuwa nadhani mtoto wake ameuliwa juu kuna mwenye alirecord hizo video na akaanza kuzisambaza na mama yake akazipata akiwa Kenya mama yake hakuwa naamini mtoto yake yako uhai na that is when nilipofika huko nilipiga na video call na nikaonyesha mama yake na video hivyo nikamwambia mama ya Dinda ndio huyu Dinda na ako uhai na ako sawa na venye nilianza kutetea tetea ndinda au wasichana walitaka hata mimi kunichanganya kwa hiyo vita so i just putted a buyer on na nikaenda so you guys just judge me hakuna karmeni na nikula hii ugonjwa ilinipata tukiwa bado na ndinda yeah